How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. And you may notice something is a little different on the layout. Yeah, the bit boss has been defeated? <sighs> Alright, so I didn't do anything to change it. I'm just going to show you really fast while it's loading up. So, this is what it looked like. Like, the layout changed. It got reset. I didn't do it. It just did. So, really sorry. Anti-08 had like 78,000 hit points remaining in that. And it got changed. And I don't really want to use the service if it's going to do that. So, I think we're probably going to retire that now like that's it's unfortunate thank you so much again though anti-08 but sorry it uh kind of <laughs> kind of is all for naught now that's the thing with like twitch i mean i knew i was kind of getting into a bag of worms with my custom design for it like that's not the standard look but to just reset the number like that like wait a second that's not right that's not right so yeah it was neat while it lasted, but I think we're gonna get rid of that. All right, anyway, so I did hop on for the bug off. Didn't have very good luck. I did have some bugs. Now I don't, but yeah. Um, I did get a spiderweb clock and a cicada stereo, so that's nice. I had like five bugs. The first two I gave, they did really good, but the other ones had like really poor qualities and stuff, so... Oh, nothing you can do about that. I was just pretty unlucky. Alright, well anyway, let's go get another trophy. What do you say? Still ended up with like 100 some odd points. I think 114. And like, there's no way to tell. I wish you could like examine your bugs so you knew, oh, okay, that's a large size or that's a small size or something like that. Olaf! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Gee, I would have thought that Jitters would have won or something. Wow, 79 points. This is a pretty fierce competition. Dang. 79 points and she got third. Usually they get, like, garbage. Alright, let's see. Olaf. Goliath Beetle, 82. Yeah. Alright, well, congrats, you loser. <laughs> uh... I wish this would go a little faster. I can't skip it or anything. Alright, yeah, I got 114 points for that, Goliath Beetle. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, wonderful. I got a lovely thing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we both cheated, Olaf and I. We both brought bugs from the island. Yay, we did it! Should probably take a picture. All right, there we go. So that's all taken care of now. Hooray! We did it! We did it. So, tomorrow... Tomorrow we're gonna be... Uh... Having some different stream schedules. I'll talk about it in a moment. Okay, I'm hearing an argument in the chat if the Goliath Beetle can or can't be gotten. This is why I shouldn't read chat and expect it to be accurate, because... Anyway, whatever the case, I did use a Goliath Beetle from the island from earlier. Ooh, a danger tea. Sure, why not? All right, all right. So let's get on to something a little bit more interesting here. So there is some good news. And that is some really good news, actually. I noticed this while I was down here. So... Dun, da, da, da. We've got a second blue rose! Hooray! 
Yeah, that's awesome. So this is actually a really interesting scientific advancement here. All right. Now, I had a theory. And if you're a fan of Linkin Park, you could say it's a hybrid theory. Or even if you're not a fan of them, I guess you could say that. So flowers are more than they appear to be. They actually are rather complicated. They have DNA inside of them. Uh, well, I mean, obviously in the real world, but also in Animal Crossing. So this setup right here is what resulted in this blue rose. Now, this is kind of interesting. Let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, so the way you get a blue rose in the first place. Let's go over to the factory over here. Hey, 100 muxies from Jedi Aster. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, all right. The way you get blue roses, you need to have hybrid red roses. So you have to have a purple rose and an orange rose. At least this is the widely accepted way to get them. You take a purple rose and an orange rose, and then you breed them until you get a red rose specifically from the orange and the purple. Okay, so that's called a hybrid red rose. So I set up a row of them over here, and I'd been kind of watering them. And I got my first blue rose through this method. Obviously, you can't, you know, breed a blue rose if you don't already have one. Uh, well, I mean, like, with the setup over there. So, yeah, um, I managed to finally get one over here, but I'd been having trouble getting the second one. Because they are very rare, at least generally speaking, from two hybrid reds. So, my options were, alright, we can either keep breeding these, we can try to get more hybrid reds to have more things that we can do, uh, for more possibilities for hybrids, or we can play around with DNA. And I had set up a little area over here. You see, I took a blue rose, my only blue rose, I took that over... Let's see, over here, well, farther along on the beach, I'm like, you know what, let's see if this will work. Maybe there's a chance. So I took it over to around here, and I set it up kind of like by my black roses. I was hoping that, okay, well, maybe if I breed a black rose and a blue rose, maybe since one of the parents is a blue rose, one of the offspring will be a blue rose. But you know what, that did not seem to result in any results there. Like, I didn't have any blue roses. I had a lot of black roses. I had a lot of other stuff. But what I'm thinking is either perhaps that just, you know, I didn't give it enough time, or perhaps one of the flowers that was bred actually had a little bit of blue rose in it. It actually had in its DNA, in its uh, genes. It's like, all right, I have a little bit of blue rose. I'm a blue rose hybrid kind of thing, but... Maybe use a black rose or a white rose or whatever the combination was from over here. So I took that flower from over there. I took it on over here somewhere. And I decided, all right, let's try this again. Maybe it doesn't work with the black roses. Let's take some of the other flowers, like the red and the orange and the black roses. So I set it down right here, and I bred a whole bunch of stuff around it. And yeah, I mean... I tried, but nothing here directly resulted in that. So I was thinking, well, maybe that just wasn't it. So then I took, where did it go? Did I take a red rose from around here? Like one of the ones that I saw for sure get bred like the next day, like it wasn't already there and it was adjacent to the blue rose. I think I took one of those. And I brought it over here. So it's actually these two right here that I just set up not that long ago. And they were intended to produce blue rose. I wasn't actually thinking it'd work. I kind of didn't think it would after a while. But I only did this for a few days. And sure enough, without the, uh, the Jacob's Ladder or anything or fertilizer, it actually worked. So this red rose here has enough blue rose DNA in it. So it bred with this blue rose and it made a blue rose offspring so it's kind of interesting like i don't know specifically i read 
a few things about this here and there. It's something that isn't, like, researched heavily. Apparently there's different, like, bit flags and stuff on the different flowers that indicate what their parents were. And that plays a role as well. So, I don't really know for sure, but that's how I did it. And I figured I'd kind of walk you through the process just to kind of... I don't know, share my experience with this, because it was interesting. It's not the usual way I would have expected to do it, which would have been just breed more hybrid reds. So now that I have two, I can breed these things like crazy. So we're going to set them up right over here. We're not going to water anything else but these things. And we should get blue roses left and right, because we're breeding them now with each other. That's all we need, so that's wonderful. There we go. Now it should be good. So we'll leave that going for a little bit. Leave that going. But anyway, I thought I'd kind of tell you what the deal is with those blue roses and kind of how I got my second uh, set of blue roses, because I wasn't expecting to get it that way. Anyway, welcome everyone new to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good time. We're just gonna be having a nice chill time tonight. Oh, so Sylvia is moving out. I kind of want her to move. Uh, some kind of greeting. Hold my baby is fine, all right? Wherever you end up, someone needs to hold your baby. I love it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're sticking with that. Okay, let's uh, let's go on over here. I think I was doing some stuff. Some refurbishing, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I... Oh, I hope I... Yeah, okay, cool. I remembered. Yeah, I want some emerald green stuff. There we go. Oh man, I can't wait to get a whole bunch of blue roses. So that means I have a new goal now. I want to get some purple pansies. Those are also rather difficult to obtain, but they do look very pretty. So I think I'll probably go for those after I have a little army of blue roses. Alrighty, so let's see. What do we have over here? Yeah, the fireworks show. So let's talk about the schedule here. Now, usually I stream in the mornings on Sunday, at least morning's my time. However, the Pokemon World Championships are taking place, and I kind of want to watch those. And also, the fireworks show is on Sunday night, so rather than do three Animal Crossing streams, I think uh, what I'm going to do for this week, I'm going to just have a nighttime stream, a late nighttime stream, at 9.30 my time. So for a point of reference right now, it's about 8.20 p.m. my time. So, buy this thing. Ooh, do I have this? I think I have bubblegum KK, but I'm gonna buy it anyway, because I can always give it to Fia. Also, let me buy Fountain Firework. Those are pretty cool. All right, so yeah, anyway, that's the game plan. Tomorrow, we'll only have the one nighttime stream. And that will be, should be a lot of fun, I think. We'll have fireworks, we're gonna celebrate. Maybe I can get some firework things. And, uh, what else? So there is something that might be handy. That's actually building a trash can, because I'm gonna need to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need to get the stuff that I do need. Apparently, I, I was doing a little reading on that, and that's rather helpful. So I don't know if I'm actually going to bother or not. I'll probably just run over to the shop, and it'd be fine. Uh, what do we got for inventory space? Ooh, cutting it close. Cutting it close, but I do want to see what we got over here. Let's take a look. Uh, ooh, that's a fancy shirt. Look at that. A doctor's coat. Dude, I could look like a doctor. I like it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm not gonna wear it, but I definitely want to have that thing for later. Definitely. All 
All right, what else do we have over here? Oh my gosh, I have a doctor's uh, mirror. Dude, I could totally look like a doctor right now. Ooh. Hmm. Now I'm kind of tempted. I don't know, I don't think I'd trust Warder as a doctor. I think I've already gotten that doctor's mirror. I'm just gonna leave it be. I got some stuff I gotta sell. Okay, we also get some music. And if I'm not mistaken, I heard, what was it, Hypno KK? Or maybe it was KK Hypno? One of those was a song. I hear it's kind of creepy though. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the danger tea. A little too dangerous for me. I'll get rid of the doctor's code too. Hey, Pokefan950 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the big service. I want to see some love in the chat to make up for interrupting the uh, Thorium mod Terraria, or Terraria I've been trying to say. I want to see some Mare Hearts, some Mare Hypes, and some Mare Big Service for Pokefan950, who says, You interrupted my episode of Terraria Thorium series for this? Right? How could I? Alright, let's get rid of the four lamp. I don't need that either. I just wanted my catalog. Well, thank you so much for the big service. Always appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying the series, too. Even though I'm not going to be streaming quite as much, I do at least have plenty of episodes of that scheduled, too, so that should be good. Um, let's see, what else was I going to do? I was going to go listen to some music. That's right. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So Hypno KK, is that? Is, is that what it is? KK Hypno? I'll experiment. We'll figure out what it is. It's Hypno. All right, pal. You know it. All right, I know a song. Sir Groovitude. Uh, wait, I think it was Hypno KK. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. Oh, who hipped you to that tune, June? Hypno KK is a secret song. I see you're no square, so I'll play you fair. Pull up a chair. All right. Hypno KK. All songs do show the credits, Pokefan. You beat the game every single time you hear the songs! Every single time. I like it. I like it. And it is a, uh, a secret song, too. So that's kind of handy. You wouldn't play that normally if you were to just say, hey, play whatever you want. Like, you actually have to type in hypno space k dot k dot. And that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Like, I have another one of his secret songs, too. And the kind of cool thing is, every time I've had a secret song, it's been because, like, a villager or someone has suggested it. I didn't just actually, like, look them up. I think there's one other. Oh, 
All right, well. There we go. That was pretty good. All right, is it gyroid fun time? Slip me a boot. Yeah, I got a boot. I got a boot. I got a boot. I kind of like this pilot look. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's actually kind of nice. Like, I don't know why I always associate Werder with yellow. Probably not a good thing. Alrighty, let's see. Gotta plant these bushes somewhere, too. I think I know exactly where I want to put them. Wait, do I have my golden axe on me? Oh, yeah, I do. I forgot I got that. Like, I keep thinking, oh, I can't chop down this tree because... Like, I actually have no reason why, but I can totally chop down this tree right here. Yeah, in your face! Oh, and it has a nice stump pattern, too. I almost don't want to get rid of it now. All right, there we go. So, let's get back to planting. Ta-da! Yeah, this will look nice. And then I think we'll have one go right here. And then we'll just leave this as like an open spot, I think. And then we'll kind of continue it along over here. And kind of go up, maybe? I don't know. Just some ideas. Just some ideas. All right, what do I have over here? I need to get them refurbishing something. Let's go ahead and do that really fast. Also, let's check the mail. Whoa! Oh, no! I forgot to bury Tutu's time capsule! Uh-oh! Uh... You know what? She wouldn't know if I buried it or if I didn't, right? I'm gonna bury it. Oh, it's so terrible. I am so terrible. Okay, it's fine. It's... it's fine! Oh, man. How did I forget that? What even happened? Like, I know that... Oh, man. I messed up. Oh, no! It doesn't let me bury it! Oh, no! She gonna be mad at me. All right, well, let's just... Let's just get it over with. Uh, oh, yeah, all that stuff I ordered from the campground. That's right. Oh, man. I feel really bad right now. How could I forget that? Oh, no. That's just so sad. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just say hi. Uh... <laughs> so what did that nasty evil witch give to the beautiful princess? The time capsule? Uh, it was a poison apple, of course. <laughs> then some random prince woke her up with a kiss. Ew! I mean, I guess that is kind of weird at the same time. Like, that was just kind of one of those stories I grew up with. Like, uh, what was it? Sleeping Beauty? But when you actually think about it, it's like, hold on a second. You mean someone, like this prince guy, just kind of like wakes her up in her sleep with a kiss? Like, she didn't ask for that. What? Uh, can't get away with that nowadays. Well, nothing I can do about this right now. I guess we're gonna have to read it. Like, I can't throw it away right now. She doesn't even want to acknowledge it. <sighs> I messed up. Dropped some frozen parfait there the other day. Hmm. Should get you a mop. To the future, Tutu. I wonder who... Or who will wear this in the future, I wonder. I used to run around town wearing this. I always felt like a one-girl parade. Now go celebrate your life. Ever spoiled Tutu. Oh, I'm sorry. I... This is terrible. Rally tank. Oh, man. I messed up. I'm a thief. I'm a thief. I'm a thief. 
Oh, well, that's how it goes. Can't please them all. Oh, man. I feel terrible right now, though. That guilt! That guilt! It's so bad. I should really turn myself into the police. Alright. Yeah, of course you're gonna lose next time. Dude, I need, like, a scarf. Wouldn't that look so good right now? If I had, like, a white scarf or a yellow scarf or something. Like, that'd be awesome with this look. Like, with the pilot shades and the... The whatever, the pilot hat. Oh, man, it'd be great. <laughs> oh, no. You guys opened up the time capsule, like, seconds later. That's pretty harsh. All right, from Bones. Oh, Warder, I had this really scary dream last night. You disappeared from our town. Warder promised me you'll never leave. You had to stay here forever. Oh, no, I didn't show up yesterday, I think. I didn't have time to play yesterday. Uh, Olaf. And Gulliver. Kempo in China, huh? All right, well, let's see. What do I have for inventory space right here? We got this from Gulliver. We got a red tassel lantern. Okay. We've got a Polonia closet. Mm hmm. What is this? Oh yeah, all this stuff in the campground. What did I get? Oh, the presents. That's right. I got the presents. Gift pile. We're gonna have to stow those away for later. I'll probably just put them in the side room. Cause I gotta have a birthday room. That's what I gotta do. We got a birthday coming up. Oh yeah. Gonna be 56. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go ahead and see how this looks. I don't know, it looks really basic. I like that. All right, let's put this gift pile there. See, that looks pretty cool. That looks neat. I like that. Like, it's a stereo. Did I say it was going to be 56? Did I? Wait, do I really not have bubblegum KK? Oh. That's what I thought! This does not seem familiar. I mean, I'm gonna be 57. Sorry about that. That's some weird stuff. Uh, don't know how I feel about this. What? Okay, got some more stuff. Whoops. Got some more stuff. Yeah, I thought I was close enough to the wall that I'd been able to put it up. There we go. Ooh, that looks kind of spooky. I like it. All right, gift pile. Let's set that there. All right, that looks fancy. I really like this, though. Okay, let's put away some stuff that I don't need. I definitely want to hold on to this. You know what, I'm just going to get rid of these oranges. I don't really need those. I'm going to get rid of the backgammon wall. Oh yeah, this red tassel lantern. How does this look? 
It's another wall item, darn it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. I can't see it very well, but I like it. That's really nice. All right, let's see. I need to... Let me drop these oranges. Guess I'll set this up here. <laughs> am I really 56? I don't know. Am I really 56? I, th I feel closer to 57, if you ask me. All right, I need an emerald. The chaos emeralds. That's what I need. All right, let's drop this beautiful thing right there. 35? I'm not 35. I'm like way older than that. Okay, let's see. So I gotta refurbish this. 30. I'm not 30. I'm like a bajillion years older than that. I'm like a few eternities older than that. I just don't act like it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 30 decades, maybe. Man, I feel so bad about the bit boss just getting eaten like that. Eaten alive! It was a good thing, and now it's gone. Reset. Uh. Press F to pay respects. It's pretty much how it goes, you know. Rip the bit, boss. But at least we have, at least we have that lovely Top cheer by Auntie. I should just put that up there. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I think we'll just do that just so we'll always remember. Uh, let me let me do this for a moment here. Give me a second. Uh huh. All right. Let's see. Where in all of these windows? Almost. <laughs> we'll just put that there for right now. Alright, I might need to adjust this in a moment. Does that look okay? More or less? There we go! <laughs> we'll do that there! We'll do that there. Okay, okay. Man, yeah, that's just so sad. So sad, I tell ya. Alright, let's refurbish this green lamp. Oh yeah, use some ore, please. The Chaos Emeralds? Oh, the lampshade, what? Uh, go with purple, just because. Yeah. Alright, here you go, pal! Here you go. Alright, hopefully this will look nice. Kinda wanna get that Sonic game, not gonna lie. But I think I'll wait until after I beat Cave Story! Oh man. I tell ya. I just have to do that. Uh, I already have this stuff, sorry pal. Sorry! Yeah, Sonic Mania. It actually looks like a Sonic game I'd want to play. <laughs> I still have Sonic of the Secret Rings I need to play. 
I got that for like two dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Okay, let's see. What have we got over here? Been to your RV campsite in months? Oh no! There's some cool stuff that shows up there. <laughs> yeah, I've been working my biceps like crazy lately. I'd love to show off for some out of towners. You should invite some friends from other towns to come and see the gun show. <laughs> the guns are my muscles, of course. Yeah, of course. Taking everyone to Jitters' gun show! I'll advertise it all over the place. Just a guy and a girl hanging out together isn't enough to get rumors started, isn't it? What do you think I might have read too much into Bones hanging out with Sylvia? What? I saw him the other day. I was like, how are the lovebirds doing? They laughed at me and said, I just don't get it. Yeah, that's pretty awkward there, pal. But it's a lot less awkward than Soleil shipping Goldie and Bones. What? Can't do that. Should stream my first reaction to Secret Rings. No! Like, if you want funny first reactions to things, like, I tell you, I got my fill of that with uh, Josh Jefferson's <laughs> Sonic 06 stream last week. That was so funny. That was way too funny. Yo, what's up, Watson? How are you doing? <laughs> Rory and Soleil are together. Blah, what? Man, why is everyone talking about who everyone else is hanging out with? Everyone's all like in gossip mill mode today. <laughs> the tag is itching so bad I can hardly stand it anymore. I'm freaking out. Man, what's up with everyone with their itchy tags? First Hopper, now Cesar. It'll be the death of them. That'll be the death of them. All right, Goldie, how are you doing? Yeah, congratulations on your third place win. You did really good. Um, nowhere. All right, let's chat again. So I wonder if I'll be able to find, and everyone is all gossiping. I kind of want her to move, I'm sorry. Like, Sylvia's nice, but I've done so much for her, and she just seems so ungrateful. What, are you ready for your third place in two weeks time? What? No, wait, man, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be victorious. Victorious for the sleep lock. It's gonna be great. Okay, now, question is, am I even going to be able to find a scorpion? Well, okay, if I find one, that's great, but can I catch a scorpion? That's what I want to know. Uh, Logan the Fat Cat asking, did I make it in time for Happy Home Designer? Yeah! Yeah, I'm going to be starting that up in a few minutes. Hello, Olaf. So I feel like throwing some bells around, Warder. How about I buy a rally tank? Ready to throw some bells around. All right, how many bells? Uh, 56 bells, dude. Well, whatever, that's fine. Yeah, good point, Beautiful Days 4, saying if you want to fill out your catalog, you have to get second and third place trophies. Yeah, I really should be rigging that, but I feel like, you know what? It's probably something I'd be better off doing with other characters or just getting them from my other games to be honest. Uh, all right, let's see. Where am I going to go? Oh, that's right. 56 bells, the profit from the betrayal of Tutu. All that for 56 bells. I pulled an Olaf there. Like, I literally pulled an Olaf. That's nothing to Olaf about. All right, Soleil. What is going on? What in tarnation? Oh my gosh, Jedi Aster, you did not need to tell me that. Saying, all right, I'm back. Just had to deal with getting a bat out of my room outside. 
<laughs> Ugh, I'm terrified of bats. Like, they're adorable, but... I am just terrified of them. Like, I kind of nervously look around my room. Oh, man. I just... Ugh. <laughs> Was my face really that bad? Ugh. Man. I tell you. I mean... Bats inside of a house. I just... I don't know if I'd be able to do it. I would probably just run outside. I'd probably just say, all right, I'm done with the house. I'm homeless. I'm sorry, guys. I can't stream. House is done. Spiders? I can handle spiders. I know some people, they would torch their house if there were a spider in the house. But for me, there were a bat in the house. That would be it. I, I would be done. Yep, I'd probably move. I'd be done. Like, I'd seriously just be done. <laughs> Beautiful Days for saying, I just realized Soleil and Olaf have a hot tub in the same spot. Are they secretly a team? I think it was probably the, uh, I don't know, architect or something. Whoever built their houses. It's like a, I don't know, some kind of thing. Okay, I gotta find that darn scorpion. I don't think I'm gonna be able to tonight. Hopefully we'll have better luck tomorrow night. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Even though it might be a little distracting with all the fireworks and stuff, but you know. If I recall, last time I got a scorpion, or maybe it was a tarantula. Uh, well, it was in my waffles game. I guess technically I got one here, but I'm thinking, I think it was a scorpion. Because I remember my bro-ham, my bro-ham, I had, a uh, Hugh, he helped me out. And that was, that was definitely scary, but, like, he was looking at the thing. And that's kind of what alerted me to the fact it was there, like, he was about to catch it. I'm like, no, you're gonna get hurt! And then I, I saved the day. Uh, yeah, it is Zenogre saying, how do you get the golden shovel in this one? Still haven't figured it out. Uh, if you want to know, I'll tell you. But otherwise, uh, uh, I don't know how I would give a vague clue. Guess what? When I was snacking on shrimp tempura, I thought of a new nickname for you. It's really, really cool. You want to hear it? Uh, sure. W Bear. W Bear? Are you serious, Bones? You know what? You're kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm W Bear. W Bear! Dub me W Bear. W Bear. It started as W Guy, now it's just W Bear. <laughs> I don't mind being spoiled on a game that came out almost seven years ago. Alright, you gotta buy 50 fertilizers, and you can only buy the fertilizers in the fully upgraded shop, uh, TNT Emporium. So, it's a pain to get. Any way you look at it, it's gonna be at least 50 days, too. So, it's tough to get. Well, it's time-consuming to get. It's not really that tough to get, it's just very time-consuming. Alright, well, I don't see any sign of a scorpion. We'll have to continue this hunt tomorrow. But again, if you are watching live and you want to tune into Sunday's live, keep in mind, Sunday does have a different schedule than... What was that? Different schedule than usual. Sunday is a... Uh, well, it'll be 9.30 p.m. my time. So as a point of reference, it's 8.50 p.m. right now. Hear something? What's going on? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it'll be just a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit later, really. Actually, quite a lot later. It's very late for my usual stream. Sorry for everyone in uh, Europe, but 
9.30 is pretty much the only time I could do to see the fireworks, which we want to do at least at some point around here. But you can always watch on YouTube. Yeah, the, uh, the schedule link thing should be correct. I did a, a lot of work on that over the past few days trying to get that all set. Should be set for the foreseeable future. I'm gonna give like one more patrol around here. Then we're gonna switch to Happy Home Designer for a little bit. We'll probably do someone's house. I don't know whose, but someone. Uh, let's see. Oh, scorpion. Man, I'm probably gonna freak out if I do see that scorpion. I'm probably gonna jump in a river. I don't think that's ever happened before. Well, that's my goal. I gotta do this soon. I think it's available until the end of September, so it's not, like, urgent. But I'd rather get it done. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for right now. If you are watching live, I will be streaming Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer in just a moment. So even though I will turn the stream offline, um... It'll just be for a sec, so go up, get a snack, get something like that. Thank you for the bits, Jedi Aster! Uh, yeah, but don't go too far if you want to tune in for that. However, if you're watching on YouTube, that is it for right now. So, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. See you next time, everyone! Woo!